Earlier this month, Spanish MEP Esteban González Pons told GBC the reference to the rock as Gibraltar as a crown colony in the footnote of Brexit legislation should remain, adding the rapporteur, Claude Moraes, should go. Uh, of course, because it is a colony. So, uh, and if that's, uh, if we're negotiating EU and UK about visa uh, after Brexit, uh, the EU is going to be only by the side of Spain. Remember that if UK leaves, European Union, all the friends remain with Spain. Yesterday, conference of presidents of this parliament decide to keep uh, that word and uh, decide we are going to discuss it in the next conference of presidents of next week, that it's nonsense to have a British member of the parliament negotiating with the British uh, the visa system after Brexit. We should change the reporter and I'm sure that the conference of presidents of next week will uh, change the reporter of uh, visa and to keep Gibraltar on the text. Claude Moraes has been an MEP for 20 years and is the chamber rapporteur representing MEPs' views on draft legislation. He says in the past, when the wording of such EU footnotes in respect of the UK, Spain and Gibraltar has required amending, Spain hasn't objected until now. Unusually in this situation, uniquely I would say, every single member state supported Spain in not looking at any wording. So we came to the conclusion that what was happening here was nothing legal, uh, nothing required for the file, but simply a political opportunism. Here was a time when the, the, the country that had, was going to have the visa was weakened, uh, so an opportunistic attempt would be made by another country to simply impose a footnote. This footnote then, we assume, would be used in international law once Britain had left uh, and applied to Gibraltar for the future. Now, this is not a, then a question just about Gibraltar or just a question about um, footnotes. This is a question about is it right and proper to use a file which has got nothing to do with Gibraltar in this way. Now, as rapporteur, I clearly took the view that that's not the case and tried every possible attempt we had five trialogues. This is meetings between the Council, Commission and Parliament. Any independent observer will tell you that that is the correct position, it's the proper Parliament position, and any neutral observer will take this view. And of course in Gibraltar, many people in Gibraltar, many of the people of Gibraltar understand that this is the right thing to do. So I'm very happy that I have maintained the European Parliament's position, defended the European Parliament's position. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I will not give up the file and I will not give up this position. Claude Moraes has said that in recent weeks his position has been systematically attacked with the encouragement of senior Spanish MEPs. He describes the atmosphere at the EU as intimidatory, adding he's also been targeted by the Spanish press in a brutal and personal way. He says he's been asked to step down but has refused to do so. Mr Moraes rejects the Spanish argument that a British MEP should not be negotiating visa agreements for the British after Brexit, saying the argument is absurd and that in any case, Britain remains a member of the EU. Furthermore, he says, in other committees, British MEPs have taken part in Brexit legislation. He says the issue is now with EU decision-makers.